everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C Hornet, it's May 2021. We now have access to OAPs, offset aim points, in relation to waypoints. Now this is a really useful feature, let me tell you how I was taught to use these. So our scenario is we've got a Hornet and we've got some bombs. We need to bomb some gorillas which are driving Humvees out in the forest. Now there is no way of conveying their location to me. I can't use my teapot because of the canopy of trees. Again, if they were smoked, I won't be able to see the smoke because the trees are so high and so on. So I need to use an OAP. We have a JTAC man here. He is going to tell us that the target is offset from a known position, i.e. this comms tower, which is easier for me to see, by a certain bearing and distance. And that's how we're going to find these gorillas. So he's saying, cap from the tower, go. 305 degrees true, remember true always shows on the F10 map here, for 4.9 nautical miles, which is 2,950 feet if you wanted to work in feet. Let's write that down. First thing we would do is create a waypoint on that tower. We would do that via our teapod, for instance. So let's just say we did that in the background. We've got a waypoint on that comms tower. Let's now ever so quickly set our weapons up. Bombs ready to drop. Next, we're going to bring our HSI up, and I prefer it in this screen here. Let's just make it a bit more usefully scaled. Waypoint 1. We are there. Waypoint 1, i.e. the comms tower, is there. We now want to offset by the given bearing and range. So, data. Waypoint 1, UFC. We can now offset by a certain range in feet, meters, nautical miles or yards. Feet, please. I could have done nautical miles actually, but never mind. 2950 feet by a bearing of either magnetic or true. And we came off the F10 map. In this case, it's going to be true of 305 degrees. Elevation we need. In this case, I don't know the elevation because the JTAC didn't know the elevation, but I know that it's flat ground. So it's going to be the same as our waypoint, which is for meters so meters for enter done we can see now that waypoint one has an associated offset aim point at that range at that bearing which happens to be that mgrs grid and that elevation we can now go back to our hsi all we need to do now is activate and designate onto that oap we can see that the waypoint selected waypoint one has an associated OAP because it says OAP here. So to designate that OAP, we're going to press that there. We're going to waypoint designate. That's actually designated on waypoint one, not the offset. If we want to designate the associated offset, click offset there. And you can see the diamond has now moved onto the offset. And at the end of the day, what that means is we now have a target position within a few feet of that gorilla position there. So we're going to unpause and use our normal auto bombing methodology to drop the bomb. Push and hold weapon release. Bombs away. Would not want to be down there right now. Get some. Ever so slightly sad. Oh, I've got some of them, look. You see, I damaged them. It was my measurement. I Probably my bearing was off by probably half a degree. And that just shows how accurate you need to be with the bearing and the range in offset bombing. But that is essentially those guys hit. Now, if I want to undesignate that offset, click here. We now have waypoint one selected, not the OAP. Again, if I wanted to select the OAP related to waypoint one, then we would do that again. That's all we've got to show. I hope that was useful and see you later.